What's up gamers? So welcome back to another tasty trick in Blender 2.81. Basically what we're gonna do today is learn the instances, how to instance the objects. We're gonna make a makeshift LED screen and we'll do the shader for the instanced object. So let's get into it. Okay, so open up Blender 2.81, uh, delete everything in the scene. And before we, we move on, we're just going to go into the render settings and change the engine to cycles. We're going to make this GPU, and go to world and drop down the strength to zero. Now, we're going to add a plane, rotate it by 90 degrees, and we're going to add a cube. We're going to move it slightly over here. You can increase the size of the plane a bit, so maybe like this. Now we choose the cube, go into the modifier step, add a bevel, add a subdivision modifier, press Ctrl A to scale it, and we're going to increase the segments to 2, change the limit method to weight, and we're going to increase the viewport to 2, so just we'll see a bit better. Now go into the edit mode, Press N and then choose these four vertices in the back and increase the mean bevel weight to one. Press W to shade smooth and we have a small LED light. Now, how do we make a screen out of this? Basically, we're gonna parent this object to the plane. So we choose both of them, make parent and keep transform. We're gonna go to the plane one go under its um, object properties tab, instancing faces, and we're gonna go scale by face size. We're also gonna reset the scale here, so control A scale, and we're gonna lower this down to about, let's say, yeah, here, 170. Now, the interesting part is, go into edit mode, press W, and subdivide it. And as you can see, the more subdivisions we get, the more LED lights we get, because it's instancing the object. Now, rotate this LED light on the x-axis, so they're all facing forwards, let's say 90 degrees this way. And now what we're going to do is divide the screen, choose the shader editor, add a new material, and we're going to go Shift-A, Texture Coordinate, Shift A mapping, because we need also a mapping node. Connect the UV to the vector and add another image texture. Connect the vector here and the image texture to the base color. So the color to the base color. We're also going to add a mix shader here. Add a emission shader here. Connect this one to the bottom input and connect the color of the image texture to the color of the emission. And we're going to also add a Fresno Fresno, I think it's Fresno, I, I'm, I'm not entirely sure. So a Fresno node, connect the factorial to the factorial of the mix shader. And in the texture coordinate, choose from instancer. Now choose the image texture that you'd like to use. In my case, I've downloaded like a PNG of a Ocarina here and go into rendered mode let's increase the strength a bit so we have like 21 and hide the LED object and as you can see we have like a low resolution image but basically you can up the resolution by subdividing the plane and there you have it that's 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 an that's an LED plane. So basically, you can put any texture you'd like to, and it's going to it's it's going to show it. So hopefully this uh, trick helps you out a bit. If you like the video, uh, drop a like, uh, comment, uh, subscribe because I'll be doing much more of these in the future. Uh, and if you'd like to, you can follow me on Instagram. I'll leave like uh, at at the bottom of the text. So until next time, take care.